Uh, hello everybody, welcome to a video. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you may notice that this is one of my longer videos. Uh, I don't usually do these, but for once I just kind of wanted to, you know, change it, up, change it up a little bit. And, uh, this video is also extremely unscripted, just like most of my other videos. Uh, I'll try to, I'll try to, you know, explain like the best I can about this, but pretty much I want to talk about the YouTuber Parlo. Uh, now if you don't already know, Parlo is a well-respected Roblox YouTuber such as Creekcraft, Chase Rooney, uh, Remainings, people like that. Uh, he covers drama in Roblox history, but, uh... In my opinion, I just kind of don't like him, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining why, so buckle up. Now, I deeply apologize for those of you who really can't stand, like, horrible quality videos. Uh, I just want to say I'm sorry, like I said, because, you know, the, com the computer I have right now, it's, it's not exactly the best at running OBS, but it's whatever, it gets the job done. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's begin with the video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about Parlo is his constant intros to his videos. Um, I wouldn't say they're necessarily horrible, but at the same time, they're just extremely repetitive, and to be honest, it's kind of driving me insane every time I hear, Oh, big Roblox drama today! Uh, yeah. It's just, I don't know, I, it's, it's getting so annoying to the point where I literally can't take it anymore. Uh, I, I really don't, I, <laughs> I can't properly explain this, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah. His intros pretty pretty repre rep repetitive. Uh, I'm also not really the best with talking because I suck at talking. But yeah, like I said, I'll try to do my best to explain, you know, my thoughts on him. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing down uh, his uh, his repetitive intros. He can at least like there are some instances where. It's not the same, like with uh, the Rise of Creekcraft video. Uh, there's no Roblox drama with that. It's just literally how Creekcraft got popular. But yeah, that's that's just kind of it uh, for repetitive intros. And now we can move on to the next one. Uh, so. Uh, the next one is, uh, him, Parlo, always using, like, cancer as something that you can get from watching people like Uwu Cute Single. Now, listen, I get the fact that Uwu Cute Single is a horrible human being. Uh, maybe not in today's time, but that certainly does not change her actions of what she did before. Uh, but enough talking about Uwaku Single, this is about Parlo. Uh, if you didn't already know, Parlo u uses cancer as something you can get from watching extremely cringe Roblox YouTubers such as VuxVux. Uh, and, you know, usually this wouldn't bother me, but the thing is, I, I don't even know if I should be saying this or not, but my brother had cancer, okay? And I am going to put that on my life. He genuinely had cancer, okay? And, like, people... People always joke about cancer as something that you can control. Like, it's like it's not something the body, uh, you know, tells you to do. Like, hey, brain, uh, can you not get can Like, can you not, uh, have cancer go to the body... It's pretty much like that. It, that's pretty much what a lot of people think cancer is. It's a lot worse than that. Like, it's like, n you have no control over cancer whatsoever. Your hand literally rests in... What? No. Pff, I screwed that up. Your life literally is in the hands of 
paramedics. Now, even if this is a joke, it's still a really stupid thing to joke about. Uh, to be honest, I, I can't really say anything else about this topic. Like, I really did not plan on making a video like this at all. So, I know I know my, my explaining is kind of incredibly stupid, but just just try and bear with me here, okay? I don't mind if you click off the video thinking this guy can't talk. I get it, but just if you want to, st stick with me, okay? Uh, so like I said, he always uses cancer as something you can get from watching people like Rebooted Poppy, yada yada yada. I said that like a thousand times. Uh, and you know, he doesn't, he doesn't even learn from it. And it's just, it's just so... I, I can't even think of the right word for it. I'm not even gonna lie. I cannot think of how how stupid you have to be to like think that cancer is something that you get. I know it's not something you can actually get from watching these videos, but like, oh my... <sighs> People always say that they do, and just... It's just so stupid, you know? Uh, I guess that kind of covers that topic, I guess. Um, now let's get onto one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite parts about Parlo, and what I mean by that is what I absolutely hate about him, and that's his, and that's him constantly reusing Bed Wars clips for his videos. Now I get that you need to have like some sort of gameplay in your videos, but like you got to at least change it up. And if you're going to play the same game over and over again, at least use different clips because like reusing clips, like I don't even know. Like reusing clips, it's just it's so like you're putting almost no effort into your videos at that point. Like sure, you have to add like the text and the voiceovers and stuff like that. I get it, but like, y like, you gotta change it up every once in a while. Like, no, not even every once in a while. Like, you should be... I, I know this is extremely stupid to say, but... You, you really should have, like, different gameplay in your videos. I mean, take a look at Chase Rooney. One of... It, one of the biggest Roblox news channels to ever exist. Of course, uh, we're not... Of course, uh, Creekcraft and Flamingo are ahead of him, but I, I just wanted to, you know, point it out. Chase Rooney, he usually doesn't reuse his old clips from videos. Like, maybe there are a couple of instances where he does reuse the same clip from his videos, but it's not constant. It's like maybe once a week or something like that. But he also plays like a large variety of games such as Create a Cart Ride and Untitled Tag Game. Oh yeah, and I also forgot he plays Evade. Uh Yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm saying. Uh change up your change up your background gameplay because you know, it's I I, I don't I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm making this video. Uh to be honest, but here we are. Uh, yeah. So, uh, let's get on with the next topic. Alright, so the next topic I want to talk about is... Well, it's not really... It's just something I wanted to put in this video, you know. Uh, but pretty much... Uh, it's pretty much the, like, the amount of words that Parlo uses in his videos. Okay, that was horrible explanation. Let me try to explain that again. Okay, so what I meant was, like, the amount of times he said cringe in his role, in his videos, it's just insane. At this point, I really think the word cringe is starting to lose its meaning, all because of this man. Uh, yeah. Now, this can mainly be this can mainly be proved by going on to his videos about Skibbity Toilet. 
Listen, listen. I don't care if you hate Skibbity Toilet. It's whatever. But if you call, like, the community itself cringe, that's one thing. Like, I honestly agree with you. The community of Skibbity Toilet sucks, especially with people like Lanky Box in that, you know, in that community. But to say that the series itself is horrible just because of the community, which I'm pretty sure that's why Parla thinks Skibbity Toilet sucks, or he just under doesn't understand it, which nobody really understands it, uh, and that's also kind of, you know, what's fun about it, like, you can see what goes on, uh, I, I really don't know what I'm talking about, I really don't know, uh, but pretty much what I said before, uh, if he's calling the community, if, if he's calling Skibbity Toilet bad because of the community, like the series itself because of the community, um, well, I, <sighs> okay, you guys are seriously seeing me, like, die out here. Let me try and explain that again cuz <laughs> I suck at doing these <laughs> but pretty much um skibbity toilet uh i i really did not have anything planned for this so skibbity toilet uh if you're if you're calling the series itself bad and not the community then like, that's, that's kind of weird, you know, I'm not gonna lie, uh, now, listen, don't think I'm, like, some skibbity toilet kid, or something like that, I'm not a skibbity toilet kid, alright, like, the skibbity toilet kids would not let you have an opinion on, like, another opinion on skibbity toilet, like, they're gonna force you to like it, whether you like it or not, I'm not one of those people. Like you guys do you, but like I'm not I'm just I'm just saying if 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 the community is the reason why Skibbity Toilet gives it a bad name, then the the, the community just needs to be better, all right? It's really not that hard. But uh gaining over 6 billion views on a video uh yeah, that actually is going to be kind of hard, you know? I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know. Uh, okay, let's get back on topic here. It's the amount of times he's... Parlo's said, like, the word cringe. He has said cringe, like, six times in one video. Or, no, no, that, that was a horrible... You guys, you guys are seeing live proof that I suck at explaining everything. Uh... That is not at all what I meant. I meant he put the word the word cringe in his video's description in like six times, uh, which is definitely not normal. Uh, and then we also need to add one because uh, he puts it in a lot of his, you know, of his different. Uh, I. I I'm seriously trying my best out here, guys. Please do not make fun of me. Uh, but seriously... Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I... Oh my... I, I, I'm... You guys are, are seeing live proof that I am dying out here. Alright, uh... The amount of times he has said cringe in his video's descriptions is just insane. Like, it's... It's quite literally uncountable. And that's, that's also not to mention that he also says cringe in his uh, comment as well. Like, he usually pins a comment saying, Oh, make sure to like and subscribe if, if you know, Vox Vox uh, sucks. That's pretty much him. Uh, and... You can't, you can't even lie. That was a pretty good impression of him. Uh, but, yeah. So, 
I I quite literally forgot if there was something else I wanted to talk about him. Um, oh yeah, so, uh, this, this one, this topic was actually, uh, an in, in inspiration of this YouTuber, so I highly suggest you go check their videos out because that's also kind of what I got the idea to make this video on. Uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, so you know how at the end of, like, every single one of Parlo's videos, he goes, be sure not to, like, harass or cyber bully these people. You know, you'd probably, like, you know, coming from him, you probably wouldn't, but at the same time, uh, let's be honest here, he's kind of poking into people's business. Now, listen, do not get me wrong, I do not support, you know, whatever motive Fave and Kaneko Kitten were doing. I don't support what they were doing at all, but the thing is, like, you can't make 17 videos about it saying, oh, be sure not to harass these guys when you are quite literally harassing them. Like, I'm pretty sure all of them are trying to, like, seek actual help, except for Fave, because I think he still plays on one of his alt accounts. Uh, but as for Notive and Kaneko Kitten, I actually do think that they're trying to get help and to become a better person, which, you know, good for them. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna change anything, but it's at least good for them that they're, like, seeking the medical attention or the mental att attention that they need. Uh, so yeah. But then, but, but then, you know, you have Parlo here talking, talking about these guys for like 17 hours straight. And, you know, it just, it's, it's, I, I don't even know how to describe this anymore. Uh, so that also kind of brings us to our next topic, which is clickbaiting. And again, this topic is also an inspiration of this YouTuber. Uh, so, yeah, again, be sure to, you know, check out their channel as well. Uh, I'm sure you're going to love their videos as well. Uh, but pretty much, uh, clickbaiting. Yes, you heard me right. Parlo does kind of clickbait. Uh... Now, I know this isn't some type of, like, Nixter V type clickbait. Um, well, honestly, I don't even know if Nixter V does clickbait. He could be, but at the same time, I'm not entirely sure. Even if he wasn't, like, honestly, it would like, you know, I've watched the guy for, like, five years. So, you know, I would still, like, stick around, like... To see his videos, because, you know, he might actually have something entertaining. As for Parlo, however, um, yeah, no, no, absolutely not. So, uh, so, let's look at a prime example of one of his, one of his, uh, videos. Or, <laughs> one of his videos. So, thumbnail, uh, what does it say? It has a picture of Skibbity Toilet, and it has the person who made Skibbity Toilet say, I'm racist. Parlo, you have officially set a brand new low that I did not think was possible. So, congratulations, here is your did it medal. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, Parlo, for, uh... I don't even know at this point. Uh, so yeah. Pretty much, that's kind of it. Uh, and there's one more topic I want to talk, talk about. Once again, it was in, in inspiration of this YouTuber. And that's... That's giving, like, a lot of these bad YouTubers... A lot of, like, fame. What I mean by that is, the more... Parlo talks about these guys like AO Gaming, Roblox, or Notive, 
they all go to his comment section spamming like, Oh, why did you do that? That was so mean. But the thing is, if you want these guys to stop getting money from YouTube, you're going to have to like not comment on their videos at all. Like, commenting is not going to do anything because if you didn't know, the YouTube algorithm thinks that it doesn't matter what type of comment it is, it doesn't matter if it's a bad comment or a good comment, it still registers as a comment for your own personal gain, okay? That's actually kind of the best I described it. Uh, yeah, so congrats to me, even though absolutely nobody cares about me, but... Uh, yeah. So, pretty much what I'm saying here is, Parlo, if you guys, if you want this to stop, you're gonna have to, like, you're gonna have to say, like, don't comment on these people's videos, because that's just gonna make them even more famous. Especially if they're rage baiters like Clown Shao or AO Gaming Roblox. Or, no, actually, Clown Shao was... Probably not the best example. A better example was definitely Lisa Gaming. Uh, and, yeah. One more quick thing I want to say about Parlo is that, for some reason, he is he's joined a faves Roblox group. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but I just kind of wanted to share it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again... Wait, well, I didn't even say this any time. Uh, so, this video is not intended for hate towards Parlo. I just wanted to share my opinions on him. Uh, but if he somehow does, you know, come across this video and just completely cut out the ending part of it, uh, then I don't even know. Just, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace! I don't know why I did that. That was so